There we go. Hey guys, we uh, just started a fire here and now we're going to do a review. I know, I don't do reviews much, actually never, um, unless people ask me to, but I guess R&D, you know, I have my opinions on everything, I just never choose to share them because there's a thousand different opinions on everything and someone's gonna argue with me no matter what no matter what I say but on a happier note we uh, we got something in the mail a few days ago um, a steel water bottle it's called the Blackthorn bottle Blackthorn USA it's actually uh, actually through uh, Trekker Outdoors, T-R-E-K-K-E-R -E -E Outdoors, um, and it's, uh, well, let's just get into the review. The, uh, the selling point of this is that the lid, I know this is just a cool lid, um, got the paracord keeper on there, but the lid and the threads for the lid is supposed to be interchangeable with uh, almost anything. Uh, set that there. It's uh, like Pathfinder bottles. I've never, never really tried to put anything else in here or anything else on there. Uh, let's see if that fits. Pathfinder lid does fit. Yep. Tighten it up. Sorry, guys. My neighbor's cutting grass. Yeah. But apparently, like Nelgene bottle caps fit it really well. So you don't have to spend a ton of extra money if you lose a lid or something. Yep. He's mowing. Uh, well, let's just let's see what it can do. So the Blackthorn Bottle by Trekker Outdoors. Um, I like the lid, the paracord lid, because you could use it if you wanted to build a shelter or something. It smokes in my eyes, of course. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit thinner than the Pathfinder Bottle. I mean, you can press it in with your finger if you really try hard. Let's see that moving. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Um, I would figure that thicker is better. The nuts falling down all over. This one is absolutely solid. You can't push it in with your finger. I don't know how that's going to affect the uh, how well it does in the fire. It shouldn't because it's stainless steel. Um, it nests, or it should nest. Yeah. Perfect with the uh, with the nesting cup for the Pathfinder bottle, and those are the two up close next to each other. And that one actually seems to be a little bigger, so that's interesting. They're supposed to be the same. They're about the same diameter. I don't know.
And if you want to buy this, you can go to trekkeroutdoors.com. T R E K K E R outdoors.com, I think it is. Or just Google the Blackthorn bottle, Blackthorn USA. Uh, well, let's just get down to it. Put this sucker in the fire. Take the lid off. Easy removal. Mm, that's what I want. Now, I haven't tried this fish mouth spreader thingy yet. But, it should fit. Oh, man. What is that doing? There. It, uh... Hmm. You'd have to modify this if you wanted to use it for this bottle. Because right now it's just... Catching on those threads on the inside, it's uh, it won't go in deep enough to actually hook like the uh, Pathfinder bottle. But I mean, you could modify that to work. I don't know if I will, but you know, it's up to you if you even want to use one of these. You could just set it straight in the fire. Let's get a good pull base built up there and. We'll start trying to boil some water. Um, the way I like to do it, I like to find a suitable stick. Like this one. And I pretty much get... Let's see, is that... Jam it on the end. And there you go. It's, uh... One way of doing it. You could notch it up here. Actually, that's probably what I will do. Yep, you probably can't see that, can you? You just jam a stick through and then let it sit on there for a while. Um, hmm. Man. Just gonna notch this real quick with my bushcraft knife from Paul. He be pressed in. It's working out great. So let's just smoke. Just do a little notching here. Notching it the wrong way, actually. There we go. She's pretty well notched, maybe a little, a little bit deeper. And there. Let's add some more wood to the fire before, uh, before we put the bottle on. Find something suitable, suitably heavy. Yep, I need a little bit higher. You could do this easier in the woods where there's not all this pre cut stuff. Jam one end into the ground, and we're good. Or we should be. I just put a log on top of that just in case. And you can jack that up as high as you want. That way the flames lick the bottom. I'm just gonna Alright, we built the fire up around this thing and it's uh it's burning away. Uh almost boiling. Actually it is. Yeah, there's a little bit of bubbles coming up. Actually quite a few. It's not a rolling boil yet, but 
you're just going to purify your water. I'm pretty sure that would be sufficient. I'm just going to leave it around there a little more. Um, turning black, just the way I like them. I hate those shiny stainless steel things. I like them. I like my Pathfinder one. Char on it. Well used, you know. Um, it's doing a fine job. And if you had to, you could make char cloth in this the same way you would make char cloth in, uh, like a Pathfinder bottle or something. Uh, that's another option if you're going to build a, uh, build a kit and you wanted to buy a stainless steel water bottle that you could put in the fire and you could buy the Pathfinder one. But if you put it like that, put the bottle over top and then you put a rock on there, so just a, a light rock, not a heavy rock, just so the gases escape and they push it up and only the gases escape. You can make some char material that way. Um, you can also make it without a container, so, you know, you could even probably lay a rock over top of this if you found a flat rock and plug those holes. But, yeah, it's not as thick as the Pathfinder bottle, but, you know, that's up to you. They're both about in the same price range, I think. Um, they're pretty much the same bottle. Oh, yeah, look at that rolling boil now. That's a ton of water. I'm just going to leave it right there. Yeah. That's a crazy boy. Look at that. And there's no leaks, obviously, because, you know, quality. They're both made in China. Um, you can't really get American-made stainless steel bottles, I guess, because China's the only country that makes them, I guess. Um, but another option is the uh, Gaia Designs 32 ounce stainless steel water bottle. And although I've never put that over the fire, I'm almost positive that it would uh, take it. It's actually, I have one that's in my basement full of water from Isle Royal. I call it my holy water. <laughs> but yeah, that sucker's really boiling that. It's moving the thing, shaking it. Um, yeah. You know, it's really your personal preference. Uh, you could t you could buy this one, or you could buy the Pathfinder bottle. Which I like a little bit better just because it's thicker, but this is still a great bottle. And the lid to the Pathfinder bottle, I uh, accidentally put it through the dishwasher once, and uh, the O-ring is uh, it's not what it once was. So it leaks a little bit sometimes if you don't really crank down on it. You wouldn't have that problem with that one because apparently they have a really fancy o-ring system in here, I guess. And also you could just buy another lid for like two bucks at Gander Mountain or whatever. Actually I'm boycotting Gander Mountain. But there you go. That's the review. Um, I like it. I will definitely make use of it. Hey little guy, what are you doing? It's like a moth. Yeah. It's definitely a quality piece of kit. You know, if you can... They say to leave it for 10 minutes boiling, but, you know, when you got a rolling boil like that, there's absolutely no need. Just stop and listen. That water is so hot in there. Shaking it around. That's a gigantic rolling boil. Splashing around like, I don't know, Thunder Canyon or something. Whatever the heck that is. Um, yeah, that's the review. Um, good quality piece of kit. I don't... I don't know if it'll replace my Pathfinder bottle, but, you know, I... You see, sometimes I grab different bottles, and I... My kit's always changing. I don't necessarily stick to one thing and use one thing only. You know, if I... Sometimes I grab a knife. Sometimes I grab this knife.
sometimes I just grab a mora. Sometimes I use the old hickory still. Um, old hickory condor. But it it just depends, you know. Whatever's at hand. If I want to go out on a day hike or something, I'm just going to grab this. and you, I know I can depend on it because look at that. You can boil your water all day in that. It's not going to destroy it. Might put the fire out. It's jumping around so much. But it's the review. It's a very good product. I like it. Um, I could make hair cloth in it, but I'm almost positive it would take it because if the Pathfinder one does, then I think that one would. Um, I won't because I have to be to class in eight minutes. I have to leave. So. You know, use whatever gear you want. Um, it's definitely a quality piece of kit and worth picking up.